And also learn how to sacrifice. Learn how to sacrifice. Um, was it about two, three days ago, um, Eunice, one of my kids, came to me and said, Dad, um, I have my one-week paycheck. She's schooling and doing something aside, uh, internship. So how much was that? She mentioned it to me. Um, I want to give it as my first fruit. Because he knows that that's what we do. We, the parents, have done it. All the other ones are doing it. So when she found this job, she said, I'm giving it for. But uh, I need to buy a hair product to do my hair. Uh, do I use the money to do it and later on pay God? Or then I said, no. This is a big test to you. Then her mom said that, you, I'll give you some money to do that hair. But go and pay your first fruit. It's an altar that you're building. We've done that and it has helped us so much since we came to this country. I want to encourage you that make sacrificial giving part of you. Try to help others and you'll be helped. Try to serve the Lord with all that you have. The best as a matter of fact, the best that you have. Let us always create environment to give. I want, to, I want us to prove our fathers and mothers wrong, that, the, that young people didn't want to give. As a matter of fact, we didn't have the platform to give, all because you guys give on this. And they were expecting you to bring this. And you don't carry this. So if you are asking for this, then... Silver and gold we do not have. What we have is cash up. Oh, hallelujah. But the most important thing that God wants us to equip ourselves, even in this equipping center, as he told them in Shechem, was to present ourselves as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. That is all that God is asking for. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The next equipping center that they built on the uh, church in the wilderness was called a place called Hebron. Say with me, Hebron. Hebron. Oh, say with me, Hebron. Hebron. Okay, Hebron meaning friendship or relationship. As a matter of fact, in the scriptures, relationship is one of the most important things that God cherish. Friendship, relationship. You see, the God of Abraham... God of Isaac, God of Jacob, right? You see the relationship. You can never do well without breaking relationship with your families. So no matter where we, we find ourselves, God is going to bless us. As a matter of fact, to, to, he, God, it, it's my prayer that God will bless you more than your parents. And that's the desire of your parents. We want to see you... The high, high positions, making good money and all that. But you need relationship with them. You know, there are some people that are teaching that your mom did this, your dad did this, your auntie did this, so I have nothing to do. That is not a blessing. Look at Joseph's life. Upon all that the family did to him. The reason why he was blessed was that he kept the unity. He kept the fellowship. He kept the relationship. So please, I want to encourage you, keep that relationship. And as a matter of fact, the reason why we need to build strong, and I know that you guys are doing very well. Yesterday on the PRWC leadership platform, someone was asking that, what is it happening here? That makes Cap City unique. And it is, uh, it is the same mention, so many things, mentioning also relationship or friendship among us. Let's continue on with that. It will help us. We need one another. You may be a doctor somewhere. Someone will finish college and they need a job. Hook them up. Somebody may be looking, probably you have a very 
nice person, been praying for a marriage here and there, and you know that, oh, this guy, I can, I can hook them up. Feel free to do that. Oh, it's, it's like you don't want to talk about this part of relationship. But it's biblical. Abraham told his servant to go and hook up his son to someone called Rebecca. Right? I pray that the Holy Spirit will hook you up. Amen. Hallelujah. So relationship is very important. Very, very, very important. I like, I read this guy's book, Apostle Winkum's book, Apostle Winkum of Zenit. He said that in the game of life, the only net that works is networking. And for that matter, without connection, there is no collection. Somebody's destiny may be in your hands. And as God has brought us, May God connect you to your destiny helper. Most of the time, my children don't want me to preach with them. I like using them. But I like practical stuff. The first one, when she finished college, it was somebody among the youth and pensa that helped her to find a job. And I'm, I met the guy, I believe, last weekend. I went to him and said, I don't know whether he's here. Went to him and said that, young man, thank you so very much. I appreciate what you did. God wants us to help one another. Now that she's working, she's, if she finds something, she can also hook someone up. So by the time we realize, and this is so common among the Jews and the Indians, they will connect their family members. We are family. The Lord has brought us for a reason. So if you're doing well, please make sure that others will also do well through you. Hallelujah. Amen. The next city that, um, actually, before I go to the next one, what we need to do is that we need to make sure, like Joseph did, Joseph made sure that he did not forget about his family even after all that he has gone through. Finally, when he was doing well and the family came to him, he told them, you meant it for evil, but God had plans. God has plans for you. One thing that you need to learn as a young person, I've gone through so many things for the past, 20, uh, for the past 32 years in this country, but I count each, each and every step a blessing. Though it wasn't an easy route. But we keep telling ourselves, my wife and I keep telling ourselves, and we're teaching the young ones, that God was schooling us. So every challenge that you're going through is a school. It's a school. God can use somebody to, 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 to straight you up sometime, to correct you sometime, but don't break that relationship. One thing that I have as my, one of my philosophy is that I don't want to break bridges. No. No matter what you do, I will not break bridge with you. I will keep it. Because one day, I may need it. So connect with one another. As you grow together. As you journey in this path together. So that whatever the Lord has said concerning your life will definitely come to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. From Hebron, they moved to another model or city that they call Beza. Say with me, Beza. Beza means a strong tire. All that we can learn is that Christ is our strong tire. In this church, let Christ alone stand out. When we come here and you have opportunity to minister, it's not about me. It's not about me. Sometimes I look at myself and say, I don't even qualify to be here, to be in this office. And that is why I, I love my name, Uncle Mike, than any other name. Because God has brought me from that far. 
but I need to see the same God as a strong tie in my life. I want to acknowledge him alone. So when we come here and in our Christian journey, let's prepare men and women to acknowledge Christ, that he is the one who is in charge. If we see Christ as the one who is in charge in this church, then we go far. If we see, acknowledge Christ as the strong tower, he is the only one who is in charge of our life, we will go far. That talks about humility. Let us humble ourselves. Let us humble ourselves. Not only to our parents, which is very, very important, but wherever we go, in our workplaces, let the world, let wherever you go, every fear, as fears that you find yourself, people know that indeed Christ is in you. And by so doing, God will exalt you. No matter your ascent, no matter your qualification, God can bring you up. Oh, hallelujah. Let us acknowledge Christ as the strong tower in our life. The next, the next model that was built, the fifth one, was called Ramoth. Say Ramoth. Ramoth. Ramoth being exalted. I love praise and worship. Danny, when I grow up, I want to be like you. You see the way he turned the atmosphere? Yeah. When I grow up, I want to be like you. But I don't have a good voice. But what we need to do is that in all things, let us exalt Christ. In your difficult time, exalt him. When you are down, way down there, exalt him. Because as you exalt him, he will bring you closer and closer and closer. The Bible says that the love of God for us is so wide that no one can understand is so deep, very deep. Why is this so? The meaning is that when you are down at the bottom level of your life, of your emotions, the love of God can reach there and bring you up. But while you are down there, you need to exalt him. And as you exalt him, you'll be, he will be bringing you up and up and up until you reach him. Oh, hallelujah. So in all that we do, my dear brothers and sisters, Christ is in charge. Christ must be exalted so that whatever he has said concerning our life will come to pass. The last model, church, that in the wilderness, God asked Joshua to plant was called Golan. Say Golan. Golan. Golan meaning passage. It shares with us that we are in transit. First, accepting Jesus Christ, you are being translated from the kingdom of darkness into his marvelous light. But that is not it. Now that you are at that level, God prepares you to possess nations. God prepares you to produce. God prepares you to do so many things. But the goal is to heaven. God is preparing us. None of us are going to stay in this world forever. But we must accomplish whatever God has ordained for our lives before we go to heaven. So let's keep heaven at the back of our mind. That whatever we're doing, we are not doing it for men. We're not doing it for anybody. But we're doing it for God. A day will come that if my earthly tent is being pulled down, God will give me a house. Oh, hallelujah. Eternal house. If we don't do that, as God blesses us spiritually and physically and emotionally and in all other areas of our life, and we forget about heaven, we will live like fools. I am able to keep all this. I'm able to acquire all this. Now my soul rejoice. Eat. But you don't know that a day will come that this earthly tent will be pulled down. I pray that Cap City will become a equipping center 
where God, through the leadership, will equip men and women to possess nations, men and women for ministry, men and women to produce, to meet the need of our generation, men and women whose relationship will become one of the most important things to us, men and women who will exalt Christ our God, men and women who would desire holiness in all areas of their lives, but most importantly, men and women who will be ready when Christ appear. This morning, what I received from the Lord is what I've shared with you. May the Lord continue to bless you all. Amen. Pastor Johnny will lead us in a time of prayer. Thank you, Apostle. Shall we just please be... Let's just lift up our voice unto the Lord and just pray. The word of God has come unto you. The sex equipping centers. Come on, lift up your voice right now, somebody. I want to hear you pray, committing your life into the hands of the Lord. That you would navigate. You would be able to go to all these places. A place of holiness. Come on. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. A place of relationship. Lift up your voice. A place where Christ is exalted. For Christ in you is the hope of glory. John said, uh, yes. Oh, that Christ would increase, that I will decrease. I want to hear somebody pray, committing your life into the hands of the Lord that you walk these places. Committing your relationships into the hands of the living God. Relationship with your family. Relationship at the workplace. Your relationship here at church. That you'll be able to network well so that the grace of God shall be upon you. You want to be a somebody who is looking forward unto the appearing of Jesus Christ. Somebody who is looking unto the appearing of Jesus Christ. What a word that the Lord has given us today. I want to hear somebody cry unto God today. Uh, holding upon the Lord and believing Him that He will take you to all these places. Holiness and consecration. Separate yourselves unto the Lord. Ramakataya Zoborombo landa hambari andalea remekataya babaria. Come on, rededicate your life unto the Lord. A life of sacrifice. A life of sacrifice. Amarobo shakataya. I beseech you, I beseech you, I beseech you that you will present your bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. That you will build an altar unto the Lord where you will lay your life down for Him. Ramakataya babiri andalea. Rebekataya babaria. We want to be a church that is consecrated. We want to be a church uh, that we have meaningful relationship. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, may your grace abound towards us. I want us to lift up prayer for the man of God, our national head and the family. The Lord is using them in great many ways. We want to pray for more grace, more oil, more anointing, more wisdom, more foresight. Come on. I want you to pray. So in the life of this man of God and the woman of God, that God's hand shall continue to be upon them. Protect them even as they go around and apostolizing the churches. Lift up your voice, somebody, right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, yes, Lord, will lift up our Father unto you our mother and the family father may you show them favor and grace oh lord we pray that may your oil may your oil continue to pour upon him oh god lubricate him in every area of his life father lift him up oh god make him great and mighty let christ be exalted in his life oh god and in the life of the family father let your protection be upon him lastly you want to commit your life into the hands of the lord even as we go in this form month of the year you want the Lord to continue to be with you go ahead of you if there be any challenge in your life if there be any issue in your life the Lord is ready the Lord is ready to meet you at the point of your need come on speak to the Lord right now he's your father apostle told us that yes you can be weak somewhere if you are falling somewhere the Lord is ready to lift you up bring all your needs 
unto him. He said that let us come boldly. Let us come boldly. Let us come boldly unto his throne uh, to find help in times of need. Uh, somebody talk to God. Somebody talk to God today. Our Father and our God, we thank you. That whenever we come to your presence, you bless us with your word. Thank you for what you have sown in our souls. May you continue to write them upon the tablets of our hearts and cause us to incline our mind onto your word. Let us walk, O oh God, in holiness, O oh Lord. Let Christ be exalted in our lives. Cause us to have this great relationship amongst ourselves. We pray, O oh God, that Lord Christ will be big in our lives. And even as we look to the appearing of Jesus Christ, our hope shall be set upon you. We thank you for the man of God that you used today. Continue to anoint him and use him even to the glory of your name we thank you in Jesus' name amen now we want to receive the apostolic prayer later all right come on let's give it up unto the lord okay all right right now right okay shall we be seated yeah so now we want to have apostolic impartation apostle paul said that now i desire to come into your midst that i might impart i might impart the spiritual gifts unto you and today we are happy to have an apostolic visit. So I want to call all the leaders of the church, uh, presiding elder, elder Sam, the deacons and the deaconesses, if you can come forward right now uh, to have this apostolic invitation. Where are you? You want to call your guys? Right. So yeah, for <laughs> elder Sam, um, deaconess Flo, I think Flo's not here. Okay, and um, Portia Grace, amen. Oh, okay, the crew. So I guess we have to stand. We would have to stand. So if anybody, okay, if the if the crew, those in crew, ushers, uh, outreach, and everything, if you can come through, Amen. Come on, let's clap for our crew. Let's clap for our crew. Let's 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 clap for our crew. Amen. Come on, let's keep clapping for them. Let's clap. They come in early every morning just to make sure everything is good. Music team, keyboard player as well. Okay, I want the, the keyboard Every. players can, can Keep. be there right. because I want to sing this one before. <laughs> Shall we all be on our feet? Danny, can you help me with this one? Lord, prepare me in a prayer mode. Let us all bow down our heads. Shall we bow our heads, please? Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, O oh, pure and holy, tried and true.
and Lord, we want to give you praise. We want to thank you so much for what you are doing in your church. That in our days, our eyes have seen the vision that, Lord, you've given to your church. We know that it is not going to be like in the days of Joshua. That after the leadership at that time passed, there was nobody, nobody to take on the mantle. But indeed, in our days, you have given us these young men and women. May you fill them with your power. May you anoint them in the name of Jesus. May you take every weaknesses away. If you were able to say that David was a man after your own heart, Lord, we know that you can use them. We pray that, Lord, you will grant them the desire to love you. The desire to know you. The desire to stay under your grace. You knew them when they were blood in their mother's womb. And you chose them. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. That whatever you have said concerning about each and every one of them. Lord will come to pass. You will prepare and equip them. To be able to Lord. Do whatever you want them to do. To be able to possess nations. Possess their communities. To possess their campuses. To the glory of your name. If any of them are going through any challenges. That will become an impediment in the ministry and in their life. We call on you Jesus. The Lord you meet them. At the point of their need. Release. Anoint them from on high. Upon their life. So that they can be an example. Unto other young people. We pray commit on this church into your mighty hands. Oh God. Anything that your hands has established. Will indeed. Be established. Indeed. Will last. Indeed. Will grow. We pray in the name of Jesus. Continue to reveal yourself unto the leadership. And show them where you want to take this church to. Grant them physical resources. Grant them spiritual resources. So that they will be able to meet the need of our generation and their generation. We commit this church once again. People that have gathered here. We know that there are so many people that are out there. May you use each and every one of them. To accomplish your purpose and your will. To the glory of your name. Those that are going through emotional challenges. Father, may you meet them. Those that are going through sicknesses and diseases. Father, may you heal Whatever the need may be, we have come to you. And we know we are not returning back home the same. Meet each and every one of us at the point of our need. We exalt you, Lord. We appreciate you for all that you do. Committing the original head into your hands, O God, and the family. Committing the presiding elder and the family into your hands, O God. Committed all the young men and women that are leading this church one way or the other into your mighty hands. Amen. That your anointing will be great upon their life. That at the mention of your name, miracles will break out. Through them, Lord, you meet the need of this community. We ask that, Lord, you will give us a space. Amen. You will give us a space. Yes, Lord. You give us a space yes, Lord. in this metropolitan area. Yes, Lord. We know that you can do it. Yes. 
This vision is not our vision. But it is the vision that is coming from you. So Lord, grant us space. Yes. Lord, grant us space. Yes. Give us the resources to be able to do that. Yes, Lord. And that day we will never forget to give you praise. We know that greater are the things that you are about to do yes. in the life of your people. I pray as a servant of you, Jesus. declaring Cap City, yes. not only as a model, yes. but as an equipping center. Yes. Men and women will come here yes. and identify their potentials. Yes. Men and women will come here and experience servants. Yes. Men and women will come here yes. and crave for the desire to know you and know you more. Amen. Even as we, you prepare men and women for your second coming, you will use each and every one of them as an instrument to accomplish this purpose. Yes. In the name of God the Father, yes. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our leaders. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. You may take your seat. Amen. Come on, let's give it up for our national head one more time. Amen. It's, it's such an honor for him. An honor for us. You know, to, to, to have such a man of God in our midst and his presence and also his prayers alone, I know is going to work wonders in our lives. Amen. Amen. Before we continue with the service, as we all know, last week um, we gave um, to the Lord and the Lord uh, did such a marvelous thing that we're looking for 100,000, but then we even exceeded that. And now our father came to add on to it. Even um, my own uncle. And uh, Kusa and the wife also gave us $1,000. Let's clap for them as well. Uh, um, can you stand up? Can we see? Look at how, look, look how beautiful they look. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Uh, you can see by my uncle's suit, he got money. So it's all good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But um, God did so much, and uh, we have a sister here that wants to share a testimony about what God did through this offering. We call up onto the platform our sister Mimi to give her a testimony. Amen. Woo! This was a good word today. First, I want to thank National. Thank you so much for allowing Capital City to come on. Thank you, Regional. Thank you so much to all the leaders that allowed this church to come on. Um, I always start my testimony saying that I'm so blessed to be in a church where I can actually be with my son. Does everyone know my son here, Quincy? <laughs> so last week we gave the big gift and I was praying. So I was asking God, what should I give? Um, I already spoke to Elder and Elder was telling me, you know, big gift is coming. I said, okay, okay, all right. But I'm praying about what I should give. And I was sitting there, and the Lord literally spoke to me on what to give. So I said, okay, I'll give this. I wanted to do something else, but I'll give this. Through that, um, I was going to get a, it's two testimonies. I was going to get a property, and um, I took my son to go see it because I was going to get it for him. And he didn't like it. My mom didn't like it. So I said, okay, then I won't go with the deal. But as you know, when you're in real estate, you break a contract, they can sue you. So I was faced with, uh, they were about to sue me, and I said, you know what, just for the inconvenience, let me give you the EMD money. And the realtor was like, you just going to give it away? I said, yeah, because I just want peace. So I gave them the money so I don't have to have a lawsuit. So the second one was, in my, in my job, we have a quarterly thing in, um, as a service advisor, um, and we had to meet a quota. So March was our last month of the quota, and the CEO came to me, and he pulled me to the office. So I'm thinking, oh, I mean, I know they can't fire me because I make a lot of money for this company, so what is it? Um, they said, Mimi, I want to let you know that you broke a record, that you allowed us to beat the Alexandria store. And I said, how? He said, just you alone and gross profit for the last six months, you made the company 1.5 million just in gross profit. So I said, okay, <clears throat> thank you. 
So Elder knows that I've been trying to get to the number one spot. Um, it's really hard because our Alexandria store does make a lot of money. But I'm fine with it. So in the nation, I'm number 50 as a service advisor. In the U.S., I'm number 20. In the East Coast, I'm number two. And I'm the only black woman to do this ever. So I give glory to God and I give glory because I was obedient. I was obedient. I'm obedient in my tithes. I'm obedient in seed giving. And I was obedient when I wanted to give the big gift. So I'm standing here humbly. I'm I, literally humbly telling you, give and you will receive something so much greater than what you expect. Trust me. We might say we want God to bless us with a better job, and I was the one saying that. But guess what comes with a better job? A bigger tithe that you have to give on to him. So, so give and be obedient to the word. So I just want to thank everyone. Um, just allow me to give my testimony. And thank you so much again, Elder, for allowing this. Praise the Lord. What a word from our apostle. Thank you so much. Come on, give a clap offering. Come on, come on, come on. And as lovely wife, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. It is tithe and offering time, amen. Most of us have our phones. We put our, our money is on our phones, and this is the way that we can give. And I want you to look at this screen. And I want you to lift up your giving your cell phone, amen, your cell phone or your checkbook, if you're old school, whatever you have, your cashier's check, I want you to lift it up before the Lord, amen, for we are bringing meat to his storehouse, and let me tell you something about the big gift, I want to share a, a small testimony, um, so I was looking at my account, and I was like, Lord, it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good at all. I was looking at my account. I was like, Lord, I'm trusting you because you never failed. You have been the supplier of every need. And I'm believing and trusting in you that whatever you have said concerning my family's life, concerning my life, it shall be established. So I took that money with boldness. And I said, I'm going to bring this sacrifice because it was a sacrifice that I had to give unto the Lord. And let me tell you something. When you give unto the Lord in obedience, when you give your offering, when you give your tithe, you're not throwing away. You're giving it unto the Lord. God is going to do exceedingly abundantly all that you could ask or think of with that money that you give and that you sow into the ground. So I want you to lift up your cell phones, your checkbook, whatever it is. And I want you to believe and trust in God that what he has said concerning your life, what he has said concerning your finances, what he has said concerning your family, whatever he has said concerning your church, it shall be established. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for our tithes and offering today. We ask you, oh God, that you would press down, shake it together. Will men give unto us, oh God? We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that your tithe and your offering, oh God, that we bring to your storehouse, that you may have meat, oh God, in your house, oh God. We lift up our tithe and offering. We're saying that this is our sacrifice unto you, that you may bless us, oh God, that we shall be blessed above all measure in the mighty name of Jesus amen so I would like um, for the media team to put the announcements on the board Praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. 
Come on, we're not going to let this shut our thunder. Yes, 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 yes. Ways to give, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We had a wonderful baptism yesterday. God being so good. Amen. God bless those that were baptized yesterday. Yes, we are believing and we are trusting in his mandate. We are trusting in the vision that God has set for our life. And the Bible said that wait, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. He shall mount up with wings as eagle. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. They that wait, they that wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to get this rolling. He is our strong tower. He is our redeemer. Yes, we praise you. All right, we're going to give it to Lady Portia. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you all for joining us this morning. On behalf of the Capitol crew, our Capitol Presbytery, our regional head, and the rest of our squad in the building, we would like to say a big thank you to our national head and our mommy. God bless you so much. First and foremost, they've been imparting upon our leadership since Friday. We are immensely grateful for all that you have poured into us this weekend and for your presence. And last but not the least, for the seed that you have sown into this ministry this morning. Let's give it up for National Head. Amen. We'd also like to thank your family for joining us. I know they are our sisters, our brother. We are appreciative that you all joined us as well this morning. And God bless all of you for being here, for your giving, for never stopping believing in this ministry. We could not do it without each and every person in this room. So may the Lord bless you. May he replenish you and may he make you great. Amen. And lastly, we also want to thank our elder and our mommy. For Sorry, we just want to wake you up. We also want to thank our elder and our mommy for joining us this morning. God bless you for being here. Thank you so much. Our brother Danny, all the way from Columbus, came to bless us as well. Amen. God bless you. And also our deacon Quincy from Burtonsville also came to bless us. Amen. That's the youngest deacon in the region, you heard? All right. God bless you once again for joining us. And God bless our media team. We know they're working hard back there. We appreciate you guys so, so very much. While we are waiting, our elder is going to give us a few more announcements. Amen. Amen. Let's start for media team. Let me tell you what really happened, all right? Because National Head is here, the anointing is too much. The media can't even work because of that. So that's exactly what it is, you know? So we are, you know, apostles. Too much anointing and it's messing up the thing. So we've never had this issue before. Yeah. So, no, but we thank God. Um, because of that, we'll just give the announcements, the general announcements. Amen? Now, um, again, um, every Tuesday, we all know Tuesday, we meet at 8 p.m. for Equipped. Amen? It is our Bible studies. We want to see more people come on. We have an average of about 40. We want to hit it, see it 60, 70, 80, even to the hundreds. We're going through the book of Acts. We are a new assembly, a new church. So we want to see how the church in the Bible, the first church, New Testament church, how they lived their lives, what they did, and how God used them. And that's why we're studying Acts. So please, Tuesday at 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., we're studying the book of Acts, uh, chapter 6. Amen? Wednesday, we meet to pray. We all know about charged. We are meeting to seek the Lord's face. So make sure you are on 8 p.m. also on Zoom as well. Amen? And we'll be out of here by 12.30 as well. So these are our announcements. Um, I believe today's Cap, today's Cap Academy, correct? Elder Sam? Yes, so we have Capital Academy, amen? And um, so again, after uh, that, um, after service, you know what to do. Just wait about 15 minutes after City Social. You go into that room, and then you start Cap Academy, amen? So I'll have Sister Rhoda, or should I just go ahead or... Oh, Sister Rhoda, I, want, I like her voice. Let's have a Sister Rhoda. She, she, she really be doing the thing. She's going to now welcome our first-time visitors. Amen. First-time visitors at Cap City, where are you? Come on, just raise your hands. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. We have a lovely lady 
that will tell you a little bit about the church and give you a great gift at the corner there. So after church, please um, just walk up majestically and just walk towards the back. Amen. And they are going to usher you back there. Um, at this time, Let's give it up for her. I think she's very, very powerful. Right. Uh, where is uh, Where is Brother Mike? Oh, right there. Come forward. Come forward. Yeah. We all know what's going on. We all know that Brother Mike lost the mom a couple of weeks ago. And coming Saturday, April the 9th, in Virginia, we're going to have the funeral. We want to do a Cap City thing over there. Amen. I want to see every one of you. I'm going to be there. So I want to see you there. So we commiserate with him, sympathize with him, and support him in this time. Shall we bow down our heads as we pray for him? Father, we pray for our son and our brother, Mike, and the sister and the family, that you continue to comfort and console them in these trying times. Father, may you, may you be a father and a mother unto them, O oh God, and hold them all go strong in these days. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, thank you. What did you want to do? Wanted, okay. Praise the Lord. All right, we are going to support our brother next Saturday. So be there or be square. Amen. We are going to be there in our numbers to support him. Um, amen. Um, I want us to call our lovely Mama, Sheila, Amankwa, oh, not Amankwa, Amwaku, sorry, sorry, Amwaku, to give us the closing prayer, and then after that, Apostle will give us the benediction. Shall we be on our feet? Our Lord and our Master Jesus, we thank you and we bless you for another wonderful time in your presence. We are so grateful unto you, O oh Lord, our King. We thank you for the enablement and ability to come into your presence. We thank you this morning for your divine visitation. We thank you for giving us opportunity to dine with you. We thank you for blessing us with your word. We thank you for the vessel you used to bless us today. Any virtue that has gone out of him, may you, Lord, replenish it. This morning, Lord, you brought us under your feet. And Lord, you have fed us with your word. And we are living as people who has been equipped with all the ability to produce. And Lord, we say we are so grateful unto you. We pray, Lord, we commit your church unto your hand. We declare that you are the foundation of this church. Holy Spirit, take control. And we believe that you will accomplish the reason why you have established this church. We pray we commit the leadership unto your hand and each and every one unto your hand. Lord, strengthen us. Give us the grace and ability to accomplish the reason why you call each and every one. Father, we pray committing ourselves unto you. We pray committing the Easter convention unto your hand. Father, Lord, reign supreme. In this convention, at the end, we will give you all the glory. As we are living, Lord, we are not living in your presence. We are praying, we are still under your presence. May you cover us with your precious blood. Your word said that your presence will lead us. And Lord, you will give us rest. This week, may your presence and may your favor and may your grace lead us. And Lord, may you give us rest. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loves me. The rest and name I love to hear, I love to sing it well. Oh, it sounds like music in my ears. 
that sweet us name on air. Hallelujah, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, oh how I love Jesus, because he first loves me. share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your lives, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all and thank you for making it.